All right, um, I am here and I'm ready to start this. Hold on, uh, actually, whoops. Yeah, let me switch over. Okay, so you should be able to see what I'm seeing right now. And preferably, so, okay, so we had this done and this is all good. Except for one last thing I have to do here on the tie is to color this in. Oh, what is that? Never even noticed that. Um, so yeah, so this was meant to be done like a long time ago, and I never really finished it because I just had other stuff to do. Uh oh, wrong brush. I gotta get all set here. Hold on. There you go. There you go. So. I'm trying to finish this as quickly as possible, and that means I'm gonna have to take like a lot of shortcuts. I was actually planning on seeing what would happen if I just did, let me zoom out a second. Because as you can see here, so okay, so it obviously it's really noticeable that it isn't colored in there, but then once you zoom out, um, it's a lot less noticeable, and I was just gonna try to like um, <laughs> roll with that and see what would happen. Uh, last stream was, I don't know, I, I streamed sometime last week, I guess, it was last, last Tuesday, I guess, um, and tomorrow there's gonna be another one, so I'm gonna try to finish this up between today and tomorrow, and that means I'm gonna have to cut out a bunch of stuff that I was planning to do on this, and also take a bunch of shortcuts, and I don't know, I don't know if it's even worth doing that, because then it's like, it, it kind of ruins the point of it, you know what I mean? Like, if, if I'm just going to speed it along and do a crappy job, what I might do is if I don't have this done uh, between today and tomorrow, I'll just have this as, like, a fallback, like, a fallback project. So that way, if I ever get bored on something else, I can always come back to it to finish it. And that way, I'm not, like, rushed to doing a bad job and, um, finish, and, and finishing this when it's really not meant to be finished yet. Uh, let, let me just switch over to this view too. Because I do want to do um, like a really nice job on this and the fact that I've put in a lot of effort and time already to just throw that away would be really annoying. Hey, what's up, Big Nate? To, to have put on, uh, have, to have done all this work and stuff and then to just throw it away because I have to rush to finish it would be really annoying. And I don't want to have to do that, so... Like I said, if, I, if I'm not able to finish it, like, really soon, meaning between today and tomorrow, I'm just gonna, like... This is Pack Runner. Oh, hey, what's up? Um... Uh, like, I, uh, like I was saying, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and... I don't know. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just leave it on the back burner sometime and come back to it and maybe release it some other time. But yeah, so right now we're just coloring in this tie here that's going to be hopefully not too time consuming. And then I have to put some color back into the lips and the face. And then from there, I'm going to move on to, I'll, I can pull it up here in a second. I have to do uh, Teddy Roosevelt and I was going to do Eisenhower too. Uh, the thing is that on these ones, and I'll, I mean, I'll, you'll get to see it, some of them aren't colored, and I think, obviously, like, a lot of the most time-consuming stuff here is doing the colorization, so I'm gonna try to cut a bunch of corners and use only photos that are already colorized, and then I don't have to worry about that part. And I just have to worry about, uh, basically just, uh, just making it look like it's fitting into the painting, and that's it. So, yeah. So that's what that's what I'm gonna do after um, putting color back into the lips here, and then putting that stylizing it to make it look like a painting, and then putting it all together into one big thing. And I already have a bunch of other presidents in the painting, so it's not the full list that I was originally planning on having for something like this. But at the same time. I don't know, I, I kind of don't have enough time to be wasting anymore trying to add more presidents in, so we gotta roll with what we have, or like I said, I'll move on and leave it for some other time to finish. Because I do actually have a bunch of other projects that I have in mind that I've, that I've wanted to work on, and I'm like, oh yeah, but I still have... Actually, uh, last week I was going out and I took some photos and I wanted to stream that, but then I was like, 
wait a second, I still have to finish this thing. So at this point, it's actually come, become kind of annoying to have to come in here and finish this, but what are you going to do? I'll, I'll, if not, like I said, I'll just put it some other time. But so I, I ended up, I ended up still working on on editing some of those photos, even though I shouldn't have been, because I had, I had a good amount of time this week to, uh, this weekend to work, and I decided to use it, not on this project. So I guess I can't really complain, that it's not done yet. But I'm still gonna complain. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so, but, but so I, I unfortunately I did not stream that. I should have been recording it at least because I have some ideas for videos to be using that and uh, to use that as a as like background footage, like B-roll for it. And I didn't do that, and that was really annoying because I I was I was taking an image of the two separate images, and I had to manually composite them together. Uh, they're they're slightly um, from different angles. And they were slightly, because I took two images, one of them, I was basically trying to manually create a panorama of one of the scenes that I, that I had seen outside. And I had to do that by hand in Photoshop. And that's something that I hadn't done before, so I was kind of struggling putting together um, different matching perspectives and sizes on things. And it ended up working out really great. I had to cheat a little and cut some corners. And it's still like kind of obvious if you get if you zoom in really close, you'll definitely be able to see where one image starts and the other one ends. But at least from a distance, it doesn't look real too bad. And that's all that really matters because I know like people aren't going to be zooming in like uh, trying to dissect exactly what's going on in the photos. So it ended up looking really good. You could see like the there's like this gazebo by the lake, and then you could see the the sunset through the gazebo so I was trying to match the image where you can see the sun peeking through with another image where I had to I was getting the top of the gazebo and from that angle you couldn't see the sun peeking through so I was matching those two things and it was actually it was it was an easy thing to do um, for the gazebo but then on the sides there were a bunch of trees around it and that that was where the most difficult time came in and that was that was really annoying because <laughs> like as you can imagine, and I can pull it up here in a second if anyone wants to see it, but there are like a ton of, especially now because it's winter, so all the trees are completely bare and you can see like tiny sticks after sticks after sticks. And to get every single one of those to line up with every single one of them from another photo that's a different size and at a different perspective, that was really, really tough to do. So I, I, I wasn't able to do that, but I did a pretty good job of being able to almost get to that point, I think. Where certainly if you're zoomed out all the way, you can't see it. And even if you zoom in in most areas, unless you're specifically looking for it, you're not gonna be able to see it either. So it turned out fine, but it was just like a really long time consuming process. And it was, it was another thing that I was sort of figuring out how to do on the fly. And that's why I would have liked recording it because I did learn a lot of stuff from that process that I could have been able to share and now I can so I'm kind of mad at myself but I did do it in like a bunch of different steps and in a bunch of different ways so it would have been hard to follow anyway but whatever um Friday Friday there's going to be a video about um what's the video for Friday so oh, oh, oh just about colorization because obviously when it comes to this project that's something that I've been sort of testing myself that that's the thing that I've been trying to test myself the most with this project is colorization I can I kind of feel like um, like Pixar you know how uh, if you didn't know this uh, back in the day when Pixar was like still fairly young like you know just starting out with the, the studio the the point of all of their movies even even Toy Story the point of Toy Story was not to make a movie it was to test technology and so the technology they were testing obviously had to do with like CGI and stuff but even even past even past that even past uh, Toy Story and going forward there were uh, like for example Monsters Inc was to test the the way that they could do hair, the way that they could render hair in 3D, so that's why like Sully was like this 
huge, big, hairy monster, right? Like they're they're testing out like different kinds of hairs and textures. Uh, Cars was trying to get the like the 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 val the um like try to get a metallic look. That was the point of Cars was to test like the metallic look in CGI. Um, I'm trying to think of what are some other ones. Bugs Life. I'm not sure what Bugs Life was. Probably more like textures doing real life stuff, like leave, like nature in uh, in CGI. So that's what I and uh, like Incredibles was like trying to do like latex, rubber, like spandex stuff in the suits. And obviously it it went out and actually became real. They came they became real movies with real stories that were like really good, right? But. The, the original intent of each of the new movies was to try to test different sorts of technology and like try to like try to each project was to push the technology further and to test out different skills and that's kind of what I feel like now because I've been trying to do like all these different projects where I take on different just different things that I either don't know how to do or haven't done before but you know sort of have an idea of what I'm going to be doing. And then from there, sort of building off of that, learning things, and then I'm able to like share the new techniques and, and tricks that I found, just through trial and error, found out what 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 works best and which ones don't work best. Because like, for example, uh, and it's going to be in the video when I cover it about colorization. Like, there are a couple different ways that I've seen on the internet in terms of like how to colorize, and the one that I'm using right now is the best and I didn't learn that through watching or reading any of them but just through trying all the different techniques and then ended up with this one I was like well this one is the best one and there are reasons why there there are pretty clear reasons why in my mind why this technique is the best and I'll be sharing that in the video so you'll get to see that if you're interested at all but yeah that's I mean that's basically like the whole philosophy I mean eventually I'm gonna I, well I don't know because Photoshop is so endless and limitless I mean there are gonna be things that I just don't have access to doing like I don't know I, I don't think I would try too many like try to create too many special effects or something like that but you never know I might I might end up in, in a scenario where I would do that in Photoshop somehow in 2D and I don't know well, I guess we'll just see when we get there, but that's that's the one that I'm that's the the the, the technique I'll be focusing on would be colorization, and hopefully the video is helpful for other people that are looking to go and do that because it's kind of it would be kind of useful if I had a video like that. I mean, I haven't made it yet, but I mean, I know what I'm going to say in it, and it would have been useful if I had known going into colorization that that was what was going on. The outline of this tie is also like really weird. I don't know if anyone has noticed that. It has to do with like the overlap of the jacket on top of it, but it still looks really strange and it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out once we finally put this in like a painting form. Okay. Well, we're almost done here, so that's good. That's a good thing. I thought that was going to take a little bit longer, but it actually, that wasn't too bad. But I'm, I'm, as you can tell, I'm being a little bit more rushed. So there, 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 there are areas here that aren't fully colored in, but I'll, I'm just going to go with it. Things are going to be blurred. It's going to be in the back. It's going to be, it's not worth like fighting over to, to color in each little pixel right now. Not, not right now, at least. Ideally, yes, but right now no <clears throat> and for some reason I could never get the paint bucket to work with this uh, because really I should just be able to like select an area and fill it yeah no I that's what I'm saying is like I okay wait I'll show you so how are you doing yeah <laughs> just as you type that okay so that's that's what happens when just just doing that Okay, just clicking on it. So let's lower the tolerance, obviously, like to like 180. It still leaves, it still leaves like this weird jagged edged outline thing here. Am I doing something wrong or not? 
so I, I was just like, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, 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 I understand that. I understand that my lines aren't full and, and it's filling in these areas. Oh gosh. The dodge tool, I've never used the dodge tools before. Oh, what the heck did that do? Wait, 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 what did that do? Oh, I just... Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh... Yeah, my brush is too big. No, 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 but okay, I understand that, but, but look though, but look, look, look. Aside from that, aside from things not being filled in, if I'm using, if I'm just gonna use the brush, I mean the, the paint, paint bucket tool right here, it still creates, can you see that? It still creates like this weird outline around here, around the areas that aren't typed, uh, that aren't, that aren't, j just around the two areas. Like it's, it's not, it's not fitting together. They're not coming together at all. That's, that is the tolerance, so if I do what you say and fix the outlines, then the tolerance will be better. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it doesn't really matter, I'm almost done anyway, but... Oh, oh okay, I see, yeah. Well, so... My mask isn't perfectly white. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? I mean, I'm cover I'm coloring with like, with with pure white, but it's not all colored in because I'm just doing like a really rush job right now. I'm j I'm just gonna finish this up for now. <laughs> I appreciate the help, but I have to like finish. I have to like really quickly do this, and I can't be, I can't be testing new strategies right now. Unfortunately, we got we got so sidetracked with the. Uh, the thing that we did last stream with the uh, decreasing the saturation and everything. And it's going to end up looking really good, but I'm also not even going to be finished on time, so... Was it worth it? Was it worth it? Yeah, uh, no, 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 I mean, it, yeah, it's pure white. It, it may, it's, you probably just have your brightness low or something. Or maybe it's with the, the stream quality. I don't know the colors. Alright. I mean, there, there are some areas that aren't like completely colored in, because like I said, I'm doing a rush job here. Uh-oh. Like around here and stuff, but I, I don't care. At this point, I have to finish this and like, I just gotta go, go, go. Alright, so we have that. I'm just gonna leave the, those areas white to... Uh, I'm set to 100% across the board. What do you mean? Is that bad? <laughs> Should I not be coloring at 100%? Okay, so I'm just gonna take this. I'm gonna put a little bit. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna put a little bit of color. You can hear me fine, right? Too, by the way. I because I got a new mic, so I'm just trying testing things out. Oh, 100% is perfect, yeah. Okay, so I'm... Oh, okay, good, cool, cool, cool. And, and the, the music isn't too loud. I'm trying something new with the music of doing like royalty-free stuff. Just so I can like post on YouTube and so that the, 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 um, the VODs actually have sound. Because that would be nice. <laughs> that would be, that would be, that's really nice. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. Um, it's quiet, but it doesn't need to be louder. Okay, that, that, that's fine. Yeah, I mean, like the thing about royalty free is like I don't know this this is just like this is very not at all like my taste, and I feel kind of weird like playing it because. The stream should be an extension of, like, what I like, right? 
and by having like music that I don't like. I don't know, I, I just feel like it's like not 100% me, but I guess that's part of the problem. That's part of the problem when you're trying to monetize stuff and it's not on your own terms. Okay. I mean, not that I'm trying to monetize anything, but I, it's just good. To, it's just good not to have like the copyright claim stuff because I don't want ads popping up on my videos on my YouTube channel. And if I ever were to make enough uh, to get like enough watch time, I'd want those views to get monetized at some point. Uh, okay, so this is a thing called pretzel. Here, um, just search pretzel. Just search like pretzel streaming music. It's like this little Spotify thing. And you can just like choose radio stations, hype, epic mix stuff, chiptune. I'm on chill. And then you can also do from here, uh, you can change it so it's instrumental only. And you can change it so it's YouTube friendly as well. No, 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 no. It's not part of Spotify. It's just like a Spotify like thing. I try to get your royalty free music on Spotify and there's only like one playlist worth of it, of it. and it's not, I don't know, I, I just like the control over it, I, even this stuff, like I want it to be more chill, and even this stuff isn't very chill, so, I don't know. Oh hey, thanks for hosting, I just saw that now, oh you know what, it, oh it's called Pretzel. Um. Thank you for hosting. I, I, uh, if I'm missing any alerts, that's because I'm really bad with making sure the alerts play and I can't hear it over the music. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, so this is called Pretzel. Just search Pretzel, like, uh, Pretzel for streaming or something, and then you can just, like, download this thing. I don't know, it's the first time I'm trying it out, but, like, it's completely free and there aren't any ads, and I was not expecting that. But that's really cool. Um, so I'm just trying it out. Hello there, fake Bryn. Oh, yay. Yeah, it is, it is great. Oh, yeah, you, you like pretzels too? Yeah, I, j I just found it now because I was looking for, like, a good solution to my problem. And I was like, this is perfect. All right, let's see. Let's try to give his lips a little more redness. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good and give his cheeks a little bit more redness as well. I was just like, I need, I want, um, cause now, now that I post, like, that I re-upload to YouTube. Here we go. That's not too bad. Now that I re-upload to YouTube, I'm trying to be, cause the VODs, I mean, Twitch is, it works great for streamers. It's, yeah, right, it's made for streamers, exactly. Yeah, I like the window. It's like it's just like a tiny little window. It's so nice. It's like it's like this really nice compact little player, and it's like it's just perfect. And I was reading like reviews of it, and people were like, "Oh, you can't skip or whatever." But I was like, "That's fine. I don't need to. I don't need to be skipping. I'm just. It's just gonna be. All, this is background music, right? So who cares?" Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's so great. It's something new that I'm trying because, like I said, I'm I'm trying it out because. I'm, I'm trying to be a little more conscientious about like the music that's playing in the background and I was like this gives me enough control like with the with the little stations to use because because a lot of the times when you when you search for royalty free it's like strictly like really intense EDM and it's like I don't want that playing in the background so at least this gives an option for like chill kind of stuff all right. <clears throat> But back onto this here for a second. So we have this. I think the next step is to hold on. Give me a second here. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up my other. I'm I'm pulling up my other project here. Uh, just give me a second. Just so I'm very protective about my files. I don't want people to see them. Okay. Uh, whoops. Uh, hold on. And then if we, because the, the, the whole point of this now is to be. We have this little image here. Yeah, no, no, yeah, the intense EDM is like, I can't, especially, I mean, it, it doesn't fit what I'm doing, right? And I think even the stuff that's playing now, uh, that's what I was telling Claire, if you, if you missed it, um, if you just missed it, but I was saying like, even the, even the um, okay, so let me just merge this here for a second. 
Even what's playing now is a little bit like, it's, it's like off-brand in terms of what I would be going for. It's not music that I would listen to normally, but I kind of have to make sacrifices for allowing it to play on YouTube and things like that, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain too much, but... Uh, here we go. Hopefully these settings have stayed the same. I kind of forgot what the settings are. Well, I, I think the EDM stuff, I don't know if people listen to that. I don't, I mean, it's not like they listen to it throughout their day. I don't think it's like that. I think it's more like, it's, it's for a specific event. It's like, you know, you're trying to get like hyped, right? Like parties or something like that. But that, that, that doesn't work when I'm streaming uh, just a regular Photoshop project for two hours. Like, I'm not trying to get super hyped like that, you know what I mean? So, I, don't, I definitely don't want that playing in the background. Okay, I might actually have to go in and, and pull out... See, this this looks so good. This was, um... Partly, part, of this, part of this was done... Um, I don't know if Claire is still here, but Claire was helping me colorize this photo and she was giving me new techniques and strategies and it's looking really good right now um, but if you g just give me a second I'm gonna pull up the other files that I was working on because I need to match it I'm trying to match them all together in that one painting that you saw there for a second but I'm, I'm tr that means I'm trying to put the same exact um, filter on all of them so just give me a second here let me open that, and then I should be able to, yeah. <coughs> okay, sorry. Um, here we go. Okay. Um, you could be the first. Oh, oh, true, true. I could be a Photoshop hype stream. The thing is, like, this, this project alone has taken me... I've done... This is my third stream. This is my third stream already, and... Oh, oh, okay, bye Claire, thanks for stopping by. Um, this was my first stream, sorry, this is my third stream doing this, and they're each like two hours long. And on top of that, oh, you know what, I don't have the shoot. See, I didn't, hmm, okay. See, even this, this is like pretty hype. This is like, this is a little bit too hype for me, but I'm, I'm not gonna do anything about it. Um, let's see. I guess I'm just gonna have to sort of eyeball it and try to make it look good. Oof, yeah, yes it is, this is a little bit of an oof. I could be the first Photoshop hype stream, but this is my third stream of this, and I d I've done like significant amount of work off stream as well, like hours worth of work on this off stream. And it's still like not even close to being done. So, like a hype, a hype thing. Like you have to get in and get out. I feel like, and this is definitely not like a get in and get out. Oh gosh, this is this is getting hype though. <laughs> Will he be able to see the see the hype in this in this case? Kind of makes sense because I'm trying to finish this before a deadline. So I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind trying to hype, trying to get some hype on this here. It's, it's like re really intense. Will he be able to stylize this, this image correctly to make it look like a painting? You'll find out. Mm. Ooh, San Antonio. Oh no, is it gonna be like a... This, this is gonna turn into like a basketball chat. How did, how did you find the stream, uh, Kenneth? If you... If you would... If you'd be so kind as to say. Because most of these people, like Claire, I like she's another streamer. She does. Do you do photography at all or Photoshop stuff? Is that how you found this, or did you just randomly stumble across this? Let's see. I don't like. I don't think this looks too bad. I think that the the texture on his suit is a little bit too much, but the texture in his face is okay. <clears throat> oh, I followed you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you do, um, you do, like, video editing stuff, don't you? I could be wrong. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. 
<laughs> yeah, so he isn't here. You're, you're from Boston, but your name is Tim Duncan. What is what is this Discord that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I know you. I've never. I actually don't think I've gotten a chance to watch your stuff, like super intensely yet. But what I do is like I I use like a follow as like a bookmark. You know what I mean? Kind of like oh I, I like I, I was just scrolling through like the creative the creative stuff and I was like okay I'll come back to this later at some point. I think that's sort of what happened. All right, so I don't I don't think this looks too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So but I I will I I definitely will I because I I specifically bookmarked you. Okay. So let's try this now. So let's 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 pull this in here. Just get a better idea for what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, all right, I'll drop this follow here, and well, when I get around to it, <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just check in when I get around to it. Or if no one else is streaming, then and I'm on, and I'll jump on. Okay, I do like the idea of a Photoshop hype stream. <laughs> has I don't think that ever has been done before. I think you're right. I think you're on to something. We could be creating like a whole new. A whole new niche. Okay, here we go. Let me just convert this for a smart object. <clears throat> now, this is going to be tough. Trying to place Kennedy is going to be really tough because his hand is cut off. So wherever I end up placing him has to be in an area where you can't see his hand. I could put him off. Uh, I could put have him like. <laughs> <laughs> you think it has potential? Yeah, I'd have to do some like logistics work on that because I don't know what it would look like. But uh, have you ever seen? I don't know how um, if you're into animation at all, but I've seen uh, there's this guy on YouTube. His name is like Draw with Jazza, and he's done like 15 minute animation stream uh, uh, well, videos where he just, he just like animates something and he has 15 minutes to complete it. And those get pretty intense. Like, <laughs> it's kind of like uh, I heard a stat one time that was that chess is actually one of the most. Um, oh, how was it phrased? Adobe streams require so much focus. It would. It would be. Th that's what I'm saying. Is like this. This something like this, which is taking hours and hours of work. It's not like you can really hype through that. But I'm saying if you were gonna do like a project, like. Like this animation stream, you say like I have 15 minutes to, I don't know, make a really weird like composite or something, and you just have to like breeze through that. That would be really I could I could see some hype around that, but that's like that's super intense. It's like going back to the chess thing. I was reading something that was like chess is one of the most um, intense sports in terms of like how it affects people's. It has the largest of like the people that play chess see the largest increase in like heart beat heart heart uh, heart rate while playing or something more than any other sport, which I don't know if that's even true, but <laughs> that's the stat that I heard. So I feel like that that's what that's what a Photoshop hype stream would be like, because <laughs> I would I would be if I was trying to run. I mean. If I was trying to rush through this, that would be super, super intense. All right, I'm already, I'm already a couple like days behind on this. Sounds like fake news. It might be fake news. I, I certainly don't believe it, but it, I it came from a credible source. It came from someone that I trusted. Someone told me in person, and I was like, okay, if you say so, maybe you're right. I don't know. Right here, I'm just trying to do like a pretty basic outline of this, just so I can get an idea. Obviously, I'm not getting like super close here. Okay. So I'm saying I feel like it would be like the same thing. Like I, I definitely would be going crazy because like watching, watching that guy on on YouTube trying to animate something in 15 minutes is like super intense. And he he always talks about afterwards how like his heart, his heart is just like racing super fast and I would be the same way okay let's see so I could have JFK Ooh, I could have JFK behind behind Andrew Jackson right here let's see what that looks like 
Uh, where is Jackson? I never, I never name my layers, and that gets me in a lot of trouble all the time. <laughs> People always usually come on stream and yell at me to name my layers. And listen, I know I need to do it, but I just never do it. Okay, I, I know that. All right. So it looks like we have to put more filters on him because he's still not like super. Is that good? That works. I think that's right. I should be, I should be matching perspective lines, and I'm not because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> the main, really, the main point of this was to be able to match. Uh, sorry, not to match. Was would be able to do like color colorized stuff. And so I don't actually care about matching. Yeah, I colorized the JFK photo, I colorized uh, the Andrew Jackson painting, and I colorized this Thomas Jefferson painting. I didn't colorize this George Washington one, but um, <clears throat> I am, I'm sort of trying to use it as a reference to like, the, this, the, this was a regular painting, and I sort of stylized it to match this one a little bit more. Um, as you can tell with like rosy cheeks, I, I sort of simplified and blurred everything a little bit more. Mm. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but uh, obviously it's not going to be perfect, and I'm not... I mean, th like, this is clearly just... This was mostly just, like, supposed to be a joke kind of project that, that I was mainly just using to practice, like, colorizing skills. But now it turns out that <laughs> there's still so much left to do, so... Like, I have another photo, I'm gonna be pulling more presidents in here. And what I'm gonna try to not have to do any more colorizing, because that's the most time-consuming parts of this entire thing. Because even when I'm done the colorization, like, there's still stuff like this. Like, we still have to... Let's see here. I should have I reduced the noise on it some. We still have to, like blend it with the rest of this painting, which I don't have a problem with doing, it's just... It's just more time, it's just more time. Alright, let's see. Uh, <laughs> the gentleman whose face I have photoshopped onto the llama is uh, Mike McCarthy. I don't know if you follow football at all, but he's the Packers head coach. I he that is who that is. <laughs> and I photoshopped him into like this devil outfit as a joke. <laughs> that is that is the that is who that is. Ah see, I have preserved details off, that's what's wrong here. So I'm trying to basically like reduce the not even the noise, but just like the detail on here. But it's kind of leading to some weird stuff, as you can see. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do, if you don't follow football, I can imagine it's probably really strange. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just it's just a joke thing. Let's see, I might have to preserve some more detail. No, 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 it's not Alex Jones. That would be really funny, though. That's, that's actually kind of funny that someone thought that, uh, that Mike McCarthy was Alex Jones. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of keeping that as my profile. I like it. I mean, I think it's it's like a funny joke, but at the same time, I don't know. I think it's 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 like both good and bad that people don't know who it is unless you follow football. Because on on one hand, it seems like it's like more personalized to the the channel, but on another, like no one gets it. So. <laughs> No one gets the joke, the, the actual joke of it. Let's see. This is not this is not turning out the way that I wanted it to. <clears throat> it's distorting like the line work too much here. C 
see that? I don't know if you can see that on your screens, but it's like it's making things like wobbly. It's making the line work like really wobbly. I like what it's doing like in terms of the inside of the face. But it's it's like it's like pixelating stuff. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in and to show you more. Like that's not too bad. But like look look what it's doing to the line. See that? I don't I don't know if you can see that or not. Ooh, what if they are the same person? That would be freaky. That would explain that would explain so much. I don't know what that would explain. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's that, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Let me just let me just try to stylize it more with the oil paint. I think it might be because like the photo is so much bigger and now that I shrunk it down, uh it's not working out. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, that is weird. What is going on? That is strange. The effect was not that strong. I, it, it must be the fact that I shrunk the image down, so now like things are being scaled really harshly. Oh, come on. Don't tell me that that's... How is that point 0.1? That's like so strong. That does look better though on things like the on the shirt. Okay, so in this case, oh god, there's no, there's no way I'm gonna finish this. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying it now. Like I'm, I'm not gonna be able to finish this in time. I have today and tomorrow to do this, and there is no way. There's just no darn way. All right, point one stylization. Even if like we like we turn the scaling down a little bit. Nope. Oof. Yeah, that is this is this is a big oof if you if you're watching. I I messed up. I somehow messed up the hmm. Cuz these settings, the settings that I had here, I used to have on save somewhere. Or at least like, cause all right, when when you do like an effect in Photoshop and then you do the same effect again, it, it pulls it pulls it up with the same the same settings, and it's not doing that right now. Or at least I don't know. At least at least something, because <laughs> it does not look at all the same. Although actually, ironically, that does look pretty good. I just don't want to lose that much detail. None in the eyes. That does it does look good. You know, maybe maybe this will work because he is in the back. And if I'm comparing it to something like this guy's eyes, it works. It's not great. <clears throat> but I'll just try this. Alright. So we have that there. And colors and everything I still have to match. Oh god, that's another thing that I still have to match. Uh, but I'll just I'll just do this. I'll like lower the opacity on it so it's not as strong. Yeah, how about that? So that way we're reducing a lot of the er, we're adding more texture. We're just making more look more like the painting. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. How long have I been streaming on Twitch? I started... I started at the very end of last year, like late December, so... Two and about two months, basically. My, my, fir my first... I, I didn't get like a real... I didn't, do, I didn't start doing it weekly until January, so basically like two months. And I keep changing my schedule. Oh yeah, that is a good point. My, my schedule is... Oops, sorry. The mic is too close, sorry. Uh, the, the schedule is Tuesdays stream from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then everything else, this is just an extra stream. Hey Death, what's up? Um, I assume you're from the servers. Uh, and then from Mondays are supposed to be the project videos on my YouTube channel. Wednesdays on my YouTube channel are the re-upload of the stream, and then Fridays are supposed to be like a, a spotlight slash like tutorial 
like something interesting I found or like a tutorial video and that's on YouTube on Fridays. But I've cut back to only streaming once a week on Twitch because it's just too hard to do it too often otherwise. Or I, I like, not not too hard, but just, I don't like being not, like, like if I say I'm in a stream and then I don't stream, I feel bad about that. So I'd rather just have that, I'd rather be consistent than promise and then never show up, if that makes sense. So that's why like this is just like an extra stream, which I have no problem with doing. Here we go, let's see. That's, that doesn't look too bad, I'll just go with that. The hands are a little bit weird but not too bad the horizon the the horizon line is a little bit weird too but i kind of have no choice because his hand is cut off so i'll just have to stick him in there anyway all right so let's get rid of that don't save and get rid of this for now actually and we can get rid of this too. Um, let's see. Mm, 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 mm. So this was the image that I was going to use for Teddy Roosevelt. It's something that was already painted and already colored. So like hopefully I can just blow by right through this in like two seconds and then move on. Let's see. Okay. So basically all I have to do is really like stylize this and then just shove it into the painting and that's it. And that, that was the main point. It's like, I, I gotta, gotta rush, gotta rush through this, gotta rush through this. Okay, okay, okay. Um, ideally, on, like on the JFK photo, I was doing some restorations as well. I don't know if you got a chance to see it or not. I don't know if I should be doing that here. I suppose just because I have a little bit of extra t I'm saving a lot of time by using this photo. So I suppose I can do some really minor restoration stuff. Although a lot of this is giving the photo texture, but I'm going to be adding my own uh, painting texture anyway. So I can get rid of some of it. Just so it looks a, a little bit cleaner when it comes to matching it with, because the other photo, the other photos that I stuck in the painting are like really clean, because I, because I did do the restorations on them too before I recolored them. And the in the case of the George Washington one, I just restored it. I didn't do any, uh, I didn't do any recoloring. There we go. So that's basically what I'm just going to be doing here too, really quickly, really quickly, really easily and then shoving it into the other other painting. All right, there we go. <coughs> Has anyone, uh, oh actually no, it's not out yet, but what, does, have any of you seen the trailer for the new Han Solo movie? And if so, what do you guys think? <laughs> because it played during the Super Bowl, right? And there have been um, longer versions out since then. But I think I, I watched, yeah, I think I watched it. And it does not look very good. Like, I am not, I'm not trying to hate on it before it comes out. But, it does not look good. It does not look like I wouldn't be seeing it. Although, if you've heard some of the stories from on the set there, I don't know how much you guys have heard, but basically, the, like, the entire production of the film was, like, really messed up the entire time. They brought on, I think, three sets of directors to direct the movie. The first ones that were supposed to direct it, then that didn't work out. They kicked those guys off, got a new pair of directors in, then those guys got kicked off, and then I think it finished with like Ron Howard coming in and directing it. And whenever that happens, you know the movie isn't going to be too great because the people's... The, the, the original vision is not going to be carried through. There you go. It's not going to be carried through in... Uh, let's see... That's good. It's just not going to be carried through from, from start to end. 
And so I'm a little bit wary of it. Like, I, I, I'm down to watch, definitely. Because I love Star Wars, and I think that it'll be, it'll be interesting no matter what. Whether it's good or bad, it'll be interesting. Yeah, it, it was pretty messy is what I heard. I, I also heard that the guy that they got to play Han Solo, who I have never seen in any other movies or films or anything, um, but apparently he, he had to, they had to stop production on the movie to send him to an acting school. <laughs> so that's not like a very promising... I, I don't know if that's true. I just I just read that online. It could it could be false, but I certainly believe it given everything else that's gone on in the production of that movie. Yeah, it's really they had to stop. Okay, look, okay, like I said, I don't know if that's true, but I, I was reading it from like a pretty credible source, I think. Um, and they had to shut the they had to shut down production for three weeks while the guy got acting classes. <laughs> if you can actually believe that. Which, like I was saying, I actually can, because the rest of the production was so messy. And also, like, the fact that during the Super Bowl spot, I don't know if you were watching then, but the, the commercial that they put out during the Super Bowl did not have any voiceovers from him in it, because they were clearly... They were clearly trying to mask how bad he was. And even in the trailer that they released, like, the next day, he wasn't in it a ton. And the parts that he was in it were, like, pretty bad. <laughs> I think I'm most, uh, I'm most anticipating, um, what's his name? Donald Glover as Lando Calrissian. I think, <laughs> I think that's a really odd casting choice, but I think that... If they kind of, I think they can pull it off. I think he could pull it off if they do it right. I assume the thing that the thing that doesn't make sense too much about that film is like, I think it's like pretty serious, but the choices that they've made have not been very serious, and like getting Ron Howard to direct it, who is usually doing comedies or at least recently, is usually doing comedies but whatever it's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's it's gonna be interesting <clears throat> i'm someone that's watched all of the dc movies so far and those have all been really bad and you know what i've stuck with them because i really like dc but i'm not gonna like stand here and pretend that those aren't bad movies because those are definitely bad movies all right here we go all right, most of that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> that did pretty much absolutely nothing. You can't see anything when you're zoomed out. But that's fine, that's okay. We're still making up a lot of time here. All right, let's just, let's just plop this in. Okay. Oh, I, I clicked the wrong button here. I was planning on trying to... See, this is going to work really well. The... It's weird because if you get like a high quality photo and you try to make that look like a painting, it looks really good. And if you take a painting and you try to make it look even more like an oil painting, then that looks really good too. But if you get like a crappy painting or a crappy photo and then try to make that look like a painting, it just it just doesn't work. I don't know why I don't know why that is. It's kind of strange. But okay. Let's see. I think actually before I do this, I'm going to... Where is it? I'm going to try to re take out the dust and scratches. I just want to see what this is. This is ideally what people would be using for... Um, when they're restoring photos. But actually every time that I've restored photos, and I have... I've done a couple now at this point. Is I've, I've done it all um, manually. Oh god, <laughs> that's, that's the exact reason why, because you end up with crazy, like, zombie people. Because this is like a really strong effect, I don't know why it's so strong. Okay. It's just enough to reduce some of the scratches. That, that ruined that. Let's see, let's get up to like three. 
I think that softens things. That softens things just a bit. We lose all the texture on the glasses, which is kind of sucky. But all right. I think what I might do is I'll do this, and this basically. This is basically like a denoising. This is like a way to denoise, and then from here. I'll just do like a very minor sharpening because I've forgotten my whole my whole process for this and I think that's why things are really messed up right now. Is that not, that's not even doing anything. That's strange, okay. Um, my, my, um, I had this whole process of like, uh, when I first started with the first one and, and then I carry that over to the second one and that's why like the first two look so similar. But then that was so long ago that I forgot what the entire process was supposed to be. And so now I'm kind of stuck in this, like trying to figure it out. Tr I'm trying to reinvent the wheel each time. And as we all know, that does not work. Okay, let's look at that. Yeah, that, that adds that adds a good amount. That adds a good amount. Adds a good amount of stuff. Okay. Also, what's the deal with like the new the new Twitch chat stuff? Like you can make separate chats. What is it, what is the purpose of that? Because it's not you can't like I'm on mobile right now, and that's how I'm able to. Oh uh oh, whoops. That's how I'm able to follow along and stuff, and like whoops sorry. Um, you, I can't even have two chats open at the same time, so how is someone else expected to have two chats? Uh, like, is, is the point of the new Twitch thing, is it just to have, like, separate people chatting? I don't, I don't get it. I feel like, if anything, it's, it's harder for, to keep track of if you're a streamer. It's certainly not something that I could be doing. Like, I, I, da I can't have two separate chats open and following that along. It, I, I guess it's just for people that are like really big and just want people to be able to chat without having to put on slow mode or something, but I don't know, I kind of, I feel like that ruins the entire purpose of it, but whatever. All right, so this is pretty good. I think I need to stylize it a little bit more. I'm trying to see. This isn't this isn't too bad. I kind of feel bad for taking this person's painting because this is like a really high quality, really good painting. Uh, and they have a watermark down here. <laughs> but whatever. That's what happens. It, it's a oh, it's a way to incentivize subs. Why? Because okay, so I don't watch a lot of Twitch, uh, strangely enough. So you you're going to have to explain that. Be is it because you can make like sub only chats, is that why? It's also a good way for mods to talk all at once on a big channel. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes some sense. But uh, Twitch isn't like Discord, right? Like you, you still can't scroll up. Can, can you make it so that you can scroll up now? Like it's like a, basically like a group chat. Cause I could see how that would be beneficial for mods. But other than that, it's still a little bit, it's still a little bit confusing. Okay, let's see. I have to turn this up a little bit more still. I think we're getting there, we're getting there with this effect. Yes, you are the only mod, Tom. You will stay the only mod. Number one in my heart. Okay, oh, I don't have a preview on, that's why. I was wondering why it didn't look like it was doing anything. My computer got like super slow all of a sudden, so... Okay, I still don't have too many drop frames, okay. So it looks like about here is not too bad. I, I want to bump it up a little bit more. Without going too crazy. See, like, I always thought that on bigger streams where, like, mods needed to communicate, Discord is really, like, the perfect, the perfect answer for that. But I only have one mod right now. The singular mod. Tim. Tim Duncan slash Tom. Alright, here we go. 
and it's not like like I'm not, there's not I feel like there's not a lot of discussion to be going on in mod chats really. On on Discord there is, but on Twitch it's just like alright this guy's coming here to troll, just like get rid of him. And that's it. Okay. This is this is turning out to be pretty good. I'm gonna keep bumping this up. I don't wanna go overboard on this. Yeah, you can talk to yourself, that's true. Go in the corner and talk to yourself, please. Alright, let's see. I like it. I'm liking this. It's giving like it's like it's starting to put the texture in the suit and the uh, shirt. It's perfect. This is this is really kind of a crazy. Um, this is re some people don't want to open up Discord. Vulnerability? Why? What, what is the vulnerability on Discord? Just to have it, you like to, it's just another way to be connected to uh, be able to like, like being doxed. Is that why? Like, are people hacking? Is there a way to like hack Discord to get like your private stuff? I didn't know that was a thing now. Oh, what it, what is what it, why? What is what is happening on Discord? Why is it so easy to break into? I thought they fixed most of their like security issues. Cuz I, I remember there was like a big breach um I don't know, it was probably like a year ago at this point. And like people were, you know, they're like, "Ah, oh, reset your passwords and stuff," but I don't have I don't have any of my personal stuff connected to Discord, so it doesn't really matter. That's why I thought it was really funny when now you can connect Facebook to Discord, and it's like, who who would do that? I don't understand. That's like connecting like your Reddit to Discord. I feel like like that is that is just not a smart idea. You're just opening up. You're opening yourself up to all those different vulnerabilities, like to be doxxed and everything. But I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe I'm wrong about that. <clears throat> All right, let's see. I'm not sure if this is quite suitable yet. Let me pull up my other image here for a second. Independence Hall thing, my other project. My computer. Uh, I feel like I don't. I don't know if being doxxed is really that big of a deal. Well, it depends. It depends. Like, do you mean? Do you mean is it a big deal if it happens to you, or do you mean like no one really does it? Because I, f I, I, mean, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but I feel like it doesn't happen super often. If that was your point, but I, I certainly wouldn't want it. Wouldn't want it to happen to me. Although I am saying that I am going to like connect my website to Discord and everything, so. Or not to Discord, to Twitch, and that'll be basically doing the exact same thing. So <laughs> maybe, maybe I shouldn't be the one speaking about it. <clears throat> uh, you donated to Spencer Philip, and he read in my out loud on his stream. W uh, like, what kind of information did he read out loud? <laughs> Like your credit card information, because that would not be good. <laughs> that is certainly not good. <laughs> or just like your, if it's just your name, even just even just your name. I mean, there are people that don't want that out there. First and last name. Uh, yeah, it's. I don't. It's not that big of a deal. It, it it isn't. It isn't. But you have to understand that there are people that don't want that stuff out there. So. But but you're the one that brought it up. You said that there that there was a big deal with the uh, with the privacy. Let's see. How do I position this in a way? George Georgie old boy might have to be moved over some. Yeah yeah yeah. Blah blah blah. Um. It is still against terms. Yeah, right, it's just silly. Yeah, uh, 
Y yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Is like you still have to be, you still have to be. I don't know what the word for, you just you just have you have to be respectful of other people and their stuff because you don't know who's gonna who's gonna like that who's gonna be okay with that and who's not. If that makes sense. So. So is so is it a really big deal? To answer your question, uh, it depends. <laughs> to answer your question, the, the answer is yes or no. It depends on the person and it depends on the circumstances too. Because you could certainly be doing it like maliciously and being like, yo, if anyone knows this, go and like attack them or something. Right? And that's not okay. But if it's just like an accident or just reading it out loud or something, it's probably not that big of a deal. But you still need to understand where like everyone else is coming from and if they don't want it, obviously don't do it because it, it, there's a reason why like it's against the terms on like everywhere, like all on all these sites because like it's pretty serious stuff. So the answer is yes and no, if that makes sense. Okay, this is good. This is looking good. I'm 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 liking this. Mm. Mm. This painting is actually really nice. Let's see. Ooh, the pr a problem might be here with the <laughs> Oh, so you you have <laughs> that's fun that's funny. <laughs> You have been doxxed then, you're saying. And what- can you ex can you explain the experience at all? Cause I'd be interested in hearing about it. Cause that's like... I used to be really cautious of- or like wary of that. Not so much anymore. Let's see, that's looking pretty good. I think I need to blur it. I think I need to blur it a little bit more. It's gonna be tough trying to get his hand. Ah, uh, hmm. It's gonna be weird trying to fit his hand in here. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, eventually people will. Eventually people will. I, I understand that. Yeah, it's weird how I'm mix. It's interesting how I'm mixing up weird things. Yeah, yeah. The the point of this was to be like it's sort. It's sort of like a joke. I'm trying just trying to mix a bunch of different presidents together. Um, I was trying to do it for President's Day, but today is President's Day, and I'm not done. So that tells you about where I am. That's why I'm trying to be a little bit more focused today. Because last stream, you probably didn't see, but. I had uh, I had Claire Claire came on, and she got me really distracted because she was teaching me all of these different techniques for recolor for colorizing people and and paintings and everything, and it was really good. It's something that I will definitely be doing in the future, <laughs> but and that's why the JFK one looks so good. But like it's not worth it because he's just going to be in the background of some other giant painting full of a bunch of other presidents and it took me more than two hours that was that was two hours dedicated just to him and as you saw like we started the stream today with him because we still didn't even finish because we took so much time doing that so i'm trying to be a little bit more focused <clears throat> but okay a 71 year old man in a wheelchair doxed me uh claire claire just came on she was in the chat of uh, a little bit ago, a little while ago. What do you mean a 71 year old man in the chair docks to you? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if that's supposed to be a joke or not. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, the streamer. She was teaching me how to do a bunch of different stuff. It's not a joke? Yeah, so please explain, explain. I need to hear the story. Yeah, Claire Picks, she was in here earlier. Go and watch her if you're interested in photography. 
please, but please tell, please tell the story first, <laughs> because I need to know. <laughs> All right, here we go. No, 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 no. She's not a painter. She's a photographer. Who's the painter, Claire? Is that another streamer? Or is that some random person? Please, please stop. Please stop focusing on the on the Claire part, and please focus on the, the story part. Uh, is there a famous painter named Claire? I didn't know that. I need to hear this seventy-one-year-old man in the wheelchair doxing you story, though. Hmm. I don't know how this is all going to come together. Ah, crap. Oh, twitch.tv slash Claire, dang. Let me see, let me just click on this. I mean, no, no, it, it wasn't her, but... Wasn't her, no, no, no. But go ahead, uh, what was your, what was your story? Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, if, if, uh, if I'm not done today, I'll be streaming again tomorrow from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. So you can come and see, most likely I won't be done, so you'll be able to see the final product then if you want to see it. But see ya. Show him Spencer. Who is Spencer? I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So can you tell the, the doxing story now? Now that you are all straightened out. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum -bum. Spencer Phillip, who is this? Is this another photographer or painting person? Oh, this is the guy that, oh. Oh, this is the guy that doxed you? <laughs> so so you you donated to him and he read it out loud is that what happened is that the that's the story behind it let's see i'll follow this guy i don't know what that guy does it looks like he just tells stories <laughs> did you did you like did you say that he he needs to mod you or else like you'll sue him is that what why <laughs> <laughs> or it just, it just so happens that you're a big part of the, the channel. <clears throat> let's see, let's go back in and stylize this stuff. Stylize. It's weird how this is under stylize and not under like the other filters. Ugh, God. It's doing this weird thing where it's like scaling it too. Like this is not point one. Uh, his son follows my channel. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, so you said he, you just, you donated to him, and he, uh, he just read it out loud by mistake, right? That's not, you know, that's not. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's like, you know, it's like a simple, simple mistake. But th that's, that's what, that's what happened, right? Also, what do you stream? How, how did you get here? What do you stream? Let's see. Let's like blur this out a good ton. That's so weird. What is going on? I don't know what's going on with this. Um, it's like it's like being it's like scaled weirdly. Let's see. That looks pretty good. I think that matches pretty well with that. The color, the color is not matched. Definitely the color is not matched. But we're not match we're not worrying about matching color just yet. Let's say leaving it around 50% maybe. Uh <laughs> I don't know if you're joking or not. <laughs> Uh, let's see. 
Okay, that's pretty good. So how did you come across this channel then? <laughs> Not that I'm, and I feel like, I, I, I don't like asking that question because it makes me feel like I'm attacking that, attacking anyone who's here watching. And that's not, that wasn't the, that wasn't the point. Let's see, that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty good. I think JFK is gonna, I'm gonna have to do some different stuff with JFK back there. Because he's not blending in. You're like, that's pretty good too. Yeah, that, look, that looks good. These two certainly match. And then those two... <laughs> Sorry if I'm getting you like a headache. Um, uh, you followed him. Oh, and then you... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is... That's cool. Awesome. So you don't do any... You So you watch Ken. Ken is like a... Uh, like a videographer kind of person, right? Is that... And how did you how did you get to watching him? How's that? Kennedy's gonna lose a lot of detail. Kennedy does not have... Did I ever color in his eyes? Oh, you know what? Oh, I think we lost a lot of color from Kennedy when we did, from JFK, when we did. See, so I think my, my favorite part of all this stuff is that I colored in their eyes so you can see all of their eye colors. And with Kennedy, because he had like, he had darker eyes. Ken found me, how did Ken find you? JFK, his, his eyes are a little bit darker so it looks like there's less detail back there or something I don't know there's there's just something about it that is not is not blending in right what I might do is I might do like this and then bump this up a ton oops not like that uh, let's see, this smart filter here. Bump up the oil painting even more, the oil painting effect even more. And then oh, only paint over the suit area here. The shoot area here. Because I think that's what's really missing. Oh, not that much. <laughs> no, 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 not that much. <laughs> that was definitely, definitely not a good no-go. Cause you see here, there's like texture in the suit, but it's like uh, I don't know how to explain it. There's texture, but it's not like so much. Like here, we have like stuff going in different directions and whatever. Here, you just have like, it just looks like a painting, cause it is a painting. Uh, yeah, sh yeah. Can you, yeah, show me what you do. I can follow you too. Sure, just whisper it to me. Uh, I'll just follow you. And that way I can see. Because because no, most likely whatever you send me, I'm not going to be able to see just right now. Because I'm doing this. <laughs> right, so... Let's see. Yeah, so you just you just sent me a video. I'll just I'll just uh, watch it later when I'm when I'm done. I'm done. I'm done in like ten minutes here. So just give me some time and I'll message you back. Let's see. How does that look? That looks a little bit better. Your stream sucks. So are you mostly on YouTube, or do you stream some as well? Okay. It's also leaving like weird artifacting here. I don't know, it's still, it's still better, we're trying to, maybe like 0.8, I'm trying to move back. I think that looks better, that's, that's an improvement. Because there's still like too much detail there, yeah, I think that's a lot better. I 
Don't watch it on stream. Ooh, I got a some notification. That time I heard it. Usually I don't hear it. I still don't get, I still don't get to see it until it pops up on my <laughs> stream because I'm I'm watching the stream back on my phone. So I don't I don't ever know what's going on. But I assume I got something, some message. Did anything pop up on screen? I don't see anything popping up that's scaring me. I mean, my phone could be lagging behind, but... Bah, 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 bah. I'm liking this music. You know, maybe maybe I will go with this music. I was complaining about it earlier. Uh-oh. What's going on? Is my stream frozen? <laughs> also, a camel. It's supposed to be an alpaca. But I did a really bad job in drawing it. <laughs> also, I never got to see it pop up. Oh, well. Close enough, yeah, yeah, close enough. And actually, it kind of looks like a dog. I was worrying, I was worried that people would think it looks like a dog. So, I'm happy that you didn't think it was that at least. Ba ba. So, what if we come in here, bring a tiny bit of detail back? Ba ba ba. I think that looks much better. He's still a little bit white. He's, he's very pale. Because, see, the problem is... Uh, I know exactly what the problem is. Do I like alpacas? <laughs> um, I went to Peru, and so I was... Edit, I took some I took a bunch of photos of alpacas on stream. Uh, uh, just took a bunch of photos of alpacas. And I was editing them on stream. And so that's why it sort of became like a, a joke, meme thing uh, between the people that watch the stream, uh, uh, among the people that watch the stream. So I just kept it and sort of like adopted it as the, the icon. Yeah, okay, there we go. That is looking better. Okay, so going back to what I was saying. So what happened is we colored in JFK very realistically. And we did too with like Andrew Jackson and, and TJ too. But Angela, I don't know what that means. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, but we were taking, uh, taking these paintings and then trying to match them to the Washington one. And the Washington one is like super saturated, super red. And so that's how we, we got that's how we got the the TJ one to match a little bit better. So okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's what we'll have to do too. Let me just test this out. If we do like that. Pew, 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 pew. Like, like that is a little bit better. And we can always go back and add in more red to... Mm, 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 mm. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha. I mean, obviously that looked bad, but I'm, I'm just looking in my mind because, like, I know what I'm going to be doing from there would be desaturating the vest still. Angora? I don't know what that is either. And I think from there, that does look better. Okay, good, 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 good. Good stuff, good stuff. It doesn't look awful. You know, now that it's coming together, because I, th I think the, the Roosevelt one adds a lot, because it's probably most closely matches alpaca fiber. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 I supposed that you were being silly. Okay. It doesn't look too bad because this the the Roosevelt piece the Roosevelt painting is sort of bringing it together. It's sort of like the intermediate between the Washington one, which we're trying to match everything all these with, and then like the other ones which don't match quite as well. Expensive sweaters are made from it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I will not be buying those expensive fashion and movies. Do you like do you like Edna Mode? <laughs> she is she's a fashion icon and also in a movie. 
Incredibles 2 coming soon. When is that coming out? Hopefully soon, right? Well, I mean, I know soon, but like how soon? This summer, I believe, right? Uh oh, did my stream die? And did my phone die? Uh, uh oh. I actually went on a tour of. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> I went on a tour of um, Paramount Studios once in Los Angeles. And because Edna Mode is based off of like a real like fashion designer for movies, so that's where the that's where the joke comes from. But I, then I I realized that that was like a pretty well known thing. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. JFK looks really short. Ah, uh, but the, but the, the tables, yeah, the things are blocking him, so he won't look as short. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so that's for this. I'm gonna end. And the woman was not that uh, pretty overall on average, but made up for it with style. I mean, she wasn't in the movies, right? She was just a designer, so... Or are you talking about Edna Mode? <laughs> are you talking about the real person, or are you talking about the character from The Incredibles? <laughs> <laughs> but I am I am going to end things there because it is four o'clock and that's where I was going to cut it. I have other stuff to do today, but I will be back at four p.m. Eastern time tomorrow to actually probably maybe finish this. And it won't be what I originally intended for this piece to be. Uh, there's still a bunch of other presents I, I'm missing out on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and not add them in, so. The real designer? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know anything about the real designer. But we can talk more about that. 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Tomorrow. I'll be here finishing this piece. If you want to make sure you come back, uh, follow, and if not, don't. <laughs> and, uh, thank you for everyone that came here and was watching, and... Uh, was entertained by this because I think things are coming together now in a way that looks pretty cool um, So it would be interesting to see how that all turns out tomorrow if you want to come back and see it and if not See you later